Well, the first mission uh, was back in uh, 2000, 18 years ago, and, uh, and we fell in love with Nepal. So coming on this trip, my expectations were totally unknown. I thought that maybe I would, you know, listen to a couple, a couple hearts and maybe hear a murmur and I would maybe watch some operations. What I've experienced is sort of a full um, integration into the healthcare system here. We participated in Morning Report, we went on the rounds with the physicians. We discussed cases, we operated together, we actually did a case together. I, I didn't expect that coming in and it's really powerful. I thought I was going on a shadowing trip and I was going on a participation trip. You know, just, just seeing the patients and being hands-on in the ward, it's just so different than reading about or imagining what it's like here. There's just so much that is you know, nonverbal and so much that you can gain from just being present and working alongside these people. I think every medical student or resident ought to do something like this because it would be a, a reasonable percentage of those that do it that will get hooked on it like I have. These missions are, especially as a young trainee, are so valuable because you get out of the grind and you, you take a moment to breathe, you take a moment to see the rest of the world, you experience the need that's out there, and remember why you went into medicine in the first place. Remember that you got into this field to help people. You got into this field because you care about making a difference in the world. Big breath. <gasps> There's no words to describe how wonderful this trip has been for me. I think that, that scholarships like this and grants like this uh, really inspire people who can make a big difference later in life and I can't wait for my opportunity to do that.